So now let's just start charting. Let's just get into a chart and let's just start charting. That's what we're here to see. So I'm going to open up the patient. If I wanted to just click and hold, I get some information about that case. So I've got the patient name, I've got the ID and the age, I've got the anesthesia type, the physician, the procedure. I've got any appointment notes that may have been entered into practice management that will flow into and by practice management pathways. If there's been any appointment notes that have been entered into practice management, those will flow into the appointment notes section here. Okay. When I click and hold, or just when I just open the chart, well, let me close up, open the chart here. You will see that I've got a blue ribbon up here that it will be persistent throughout the chart or throughout the time that I'm looking at the chart. So I always know whose chart I'm in. I've got the ability to take a picture here of the patient. If I have a device that has a rear facing camera, when that patient comes up for registration, I can take a picture of that patient and attach it here. I've got the date of service. I've got the ID. I've got the date of birth, their age, their sex, their weight and BMI that is visit specific. So that will be entered at some point in time during the charting process. And that will populate up here as well. Got the anesthesia, the physician and the procedure. Got some warnings here. The patient has an allergy that I need to know about and the patient's consent. The consent has not been signed yet. Over here on the right hand side, I've got a print button. So if I need to, if there's anything hard copy that needs to go to the patient, whether that be medication instructions, discharge instructions, anything of that nature, I can print those here. I've got an I button. So if I click on that I button, it's going to give me more information about the case. It's going to tell me the patient's allergies here. And it's got a completion button. This is important because it tells me in my workflow, how much of that workflow has been completed. Okay. When I'm looking at the chart home here, this is telling me that none of the chart has been completed at all. But when I click on it, I can also see that these various workflows have been in, or not completed as well. So the pre-op call, the registration, the pre-op area, the intra-op, the anesthesia, the PACU, physician, post-op call, none of this has been completed. So therefore I'm showing a 0% completion rate. If the patient has been here before, they would have a previous visit summary here and I could click on this here and it would pull up my completed chart. Any clinical notes will be, will appear here. Any lab and pathology reconciliation that will be done here as well. Okay. Over here, I've got my menu, the hamburger is what we call it, the hamburger menu here. This is where all of my workflows are. Everybody that has eChart has the same workflow with pre-op communication, registration, pre-op, intra-op, anesthesia, PACU, so forth and so on. All of these workflows are standard and everybody that has eChart has these same workflows. Where your center will be different from another center are the blocks that are associated with each workflow. And by block, I'm referring to basic level of charting, which are what these blocks are. So you can see they're all here. Picture these blocks as a Lego set. You can order these blocks in whatever order you want them to be in. So if I want my communication log first, I'm looking at my pre-op call area now, uh, my pre-op call workflow. If I want the patient information first, I can do that. I can order these in whatever way I want them to be ordered. What we do at HST is we take your paper chart and we build out your electronic chart the way you want it to look. Okay. So we just basically just take your paper chart, whatever workflow or whatever order in the workflow that you already are used to. That's the way we build it here.